guys, I'm going to interrupt the project I'm working on right now. Um, I'm trying to upset this wrench end, and I don't want to mess up the eye by hammering on it, so I got it against my hip and I'm banging on the thing like that. And I'm, th I just, I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure it's not the first person to think of it, but I think uh, there, well, there should be a blacksmithing upsetting belt. All right, and that's what we're going to make, a, big, a piece of steel that I'll wear around my waist uh, on a belt or something, but I need to upset against it to give me some, some mass and also a little protection for my body. So that's what we're going to make, quick, I hope. All right, looking around, I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, but I got like two, like two inch by half. Um, a four by, you know, four by four by half would be an awesome, I think an awesome little plate, but that'll work right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of dish this out a little bit in the middle just so I have a point where the the piece will try to stay on on the uh, the weight. We'll, we'll punch a couple of holes on the end so I can tie it around my waist and we'll go from there and we'll get it in the fire. All right again just to hold the piece or help hold the piece that I'm trying to upset in the center we're just gonna just kind of cup it out a little bit with the back of this flat hammer. It ain't gonna hurt to do that. You still have the mass there. Spreading the piece out a little, that gives me a little more surface area to absorb the impact against my body, I mean. a little cup and tool. If I need one, a little more work anyway. Flatten that up a little bit. Actually, it wouldn't be bad to have it curved the other way a little. All right, so we got, again, a little indentation there. Hopefully, yeah, you can see that. And I'll come back and I'll just cut a couple of slits on the side for some type of belt or something. All right, let's put a couple of slits on the end here. Look this way so my hand isn't over the top. I don't know, something like that. Get that sucker over. Bom, 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 bom. I might have a new product here soon enough. Can't quite tell where that show is. Let's hope we're close here. Right on the money. Good enough for the first go. Perfectly clean, but not too bad. Uh, as long as we don't rip anything. All right, I had somebody stop by the shop, so I kind of was working along while they were having a chat with me. So I think you saw me start. Uh, just ran a, the, this one-inch chisel on uh, through both sides. I mean, it doesn't have to be too fancy. It's, a, it's just a, an ugly old tool. And that's going to go right there. That's the hope. So I'll find myself a piece of leather now and see if I can get some type of a belt system or strap system made up. And we'll be back. All right, there you have it. A little bit of a leather strap on there. Didn't do anything fancy. Take it on and put it on, take it off quick. That's the plan for when I need this extra help. I could do something fancier than that if I need to. Getting a little bit of a cup in there to help hold things. So let's heat this piece up and see if this actually works. All right, so a moment of truth. Get this thing right about my hip, right where I'd be holding the piece against me. Put it on that thing. Oh yeah, once I get the right height, or too high. Perfect, hang on. Keep you warm. Loosen this up a little. Like I said, a four by four plate I think would be better. 
down a little lower, I think, for my anvil height. Damn straight, works great. Ish. Working, working. You can hear it. There you go. Need a tool, make a tool. Upsetting block. Body block. Now back to the project. Check it out, it's a wrench knife. I haven't done one before. Body block. Coming to a store near you. I've never seen it advertised, but it makes sense. Bigger. Yeah, you want something to cover a little bit more of your belly. 4x4 will be good. Bye. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.